Jason Chill. The name of this episode is MMA Flicks and Not Very Chill because this is ridiculous. All right. Now, there's this is breaking news. It was just it was just released. All the PR, initial PR. Mike Tyson released it on his social medias. Jake Paul released it on his social medias. This is breaking. Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul. Come on, Jake Paul. You are... You know what? I'm not monetized, so I can say it. Jake Paul is bitch made. If he was about it, if he was about this boxing life, he wouldn't be fighting old retired MMA fighters. I kept my mouth shut for a long time, but this this is ridiculous. Mike Tyson will be 58 years old in his boxing match with Jake Paul. Come on. I'm pretty sure if Muhammad Ali was still alive, shaken, Jake Paul would be trying to fight him. Like, this is ridiculous. I don't think that it's going to be very favorable with the community. Uh, from what I'm already seeing, it's not. People are like, wow this is bad. It's pretty much the same way I feel. It's it's ridiculous. When I saw it, you ever get ready to get in a fight or a physical confrontation or something like that, or somebody upsets you and you feel like your ears get hot and all that? I saw that and I was just like, oh man, they're, they're just using this man, Mike Tyson. They're using him. And we'll get into how and why. There is a There is a few things going on here that is new and this breaking news is not just Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. There's other things going on too. And we're going to talk about it in this video. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, which most of you probably aren't because I only have like 406 followers or something like that. So I'm trying to get a th to a thousand so I can reach my first little, um, tier on YouTube. So if you could follow me, that would be awesome or subscribe and look at me sounding all old and out of touch. Hit like, comment and ring that motherfucking bell because it's about to go down. There's a few new things and I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the evidence here. Okay. So let's do this. A PR release has been done on Netflix where it's going to be live. What? Netflix doing something live? Well, that's peculiar. Okay. Jake Paul announced it on his social medias and Mike Tyson announced it on his social medias. So this is what Jake Paul says. Promotion, promotion, promotion. If I'm being honest, it don't need that. The biggest fight of the 21st century in the biggest NFL stadium in the U.S. broadcast live on the biggest streaming platform in the world. That's the MVP way. Whether you're tuning in on Netflix or whether you're showing out in person, whether you're Team Paul or Team Tyson or whether you're a lifelong boxing fan or watching your first fight, you're not going to want to miss this event. I cannot be more excited to make this amazing fight available to all Netflix subscribers alongside the hardest hitter of all time, Mike Tyson, on Saturday, July 20th. My sights are set on becoming a world champion, and now I have a chance to prove myself against the greatest heavyweight champion of the world. Yeah, a hundred years later after he retired, pussy. The baddest man on the planet and the most dangerous boxer all the time of all time. Time to put Iron Mike to sleep. Come on, man. Okay, so first off, Jake Paul can't be trusted. He's a little worm. Can't stand the guy. He's a puss. And you know what? It is what it is. I, I know some of you are Jake Paul fans. And you know what? Even I kind of fell for it for a little while when he was fighting. Like, I don't even know why, because it's like we clearly see what he's doing, right? He's picking off the sick ones, if you want to say it that way. And what I mean by that is either too old or too much mileage. So he's only willing to go into battle. It's like he has a brand new Porsche or a brand new, you know, sports car. Brand new. But he only wants to race against like, <laughs> like a Porsche or a Chevrolet that's, that hasn't been upkept and hasn't been on the racetrack and has... 325 miles on it and the engine is already ticking 
the, these are the only competitions he wants to get in. It's where he looks at at it, and he's like, "Oh, I can't drive that fast right now, anyway. So let's let's race." You know, like, come on, man. And he's calling himself the baddest man on the planet. Fight someone real, you pussy. Fight someone that's your size, your age, and your athletic ability. Not somebody that's retired and been smoking weed and doing podcasts for the past 10 years. Jesus. Oh, it's so freaking annoying. And what's worse about it is we're all going to watch it. And some of us will pay for it. It's infuriating. There may be pros and cons to this. This is all just speculation. It's all breaking news right now. So there's no way for sure telling, but I'm going to predict something. There's a chance we know that Jake Paul puts little clauses in his contracts, right? Like a non, a no knockout clause, which would really just make an exhibition, but they're calling it a boxing match. And he's talking about putting Iron Mike to sleep, right? So that that last comment is what pisses me off. Time to put Iron Mike to sleep. Because I, if I'm right, which when it comes to the behind the curtains business, I'm usually spot on with these things. The only time I'm not right sometimes is when I'm predicting which fighter is going to win. But when it comes to the business, I'm always spot on. And I always see it way before everyone else. So this is... I guess one of the cool things about my channel is because you get insights other than just what's on the surface. You get business inside, inside information. Well, it's not inside information, but you get a business perspective from somebody that understands business in events and fight promotion. Look at this. Okay. Most valuable promotions, a live global sports event. That hasn't really been done like this before. So that's something new to pay attention to. Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. Why do they have Jake Paul on top? Is there no respect for the legend of the sport, Mike Tyson? You put Mike Tyson at the top. So that's another, that's another indicator of who's pulling the strings, you know? Live on Netflix. What? Live on Netflix? What, since when has Netflix been a live platform? Okay, now we're getting somewhere. So check this out. What could be going on here? What we could be seeing is a secret exhibition fight. So sure, probably has like a, a no knockout clause in the contract but they ain't gonna tell us they're gonna promote it like it's balls to the walls fight and that's probably i you know like tyson has an ego that comes and goes who knows what kind of mindset he's gonna get in if and when he starts training for this which i don't know why he wouldn't he trained for the the last one he did and he went beast mode and um but that was an exhibition with a no knockout clause. And I believe by it could be by the same company. I know it's a lot of the same people, but it might be being put on by the same company. So one of the things that, that's going on is they're going, okay, so let's look back up at this image here. A live global sports event. Live on Netflix. Okay. So Netflix is now going to offer live streams on their platform. We don't know if they're going to be pay-per-view or not. Uh, from Jake Paul's uh, Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it, any subscribers will have access to it. So I guess we're not even paying pay-per-view. They're just probably getting a humongous check from Netflix. And the... Why would they do that? Because Netflix is launching this new thing and they want the world to see it. So they get the two biggest names they possibly could think of to get on the card. They're secretly not going to go balls through the wall battle. It, it, the, it'll be like a light sparring match. And, you know, 
Netflix gets the whole world to see their new platform. So that's one angle in the business world. Now, what I'm hoping, oh God, there's so many things that could happen here. I just thought of something else. What if they have this agreement in place? Everything's supposed to go a certain way, but Jake Paul being the douche nugget that he is, uh, knocks out Mike Tyson in front of everybody because it, like, whoops, I didn't mean to whoops, but he can't admit that to the public. So he gets all the fame and all the attention, even though people would hate him, they would hate him if he knocked out Tyson, but he would still get that clout and still get that in the record books and still get that in his legacy. I knocked out Mike Tyson. And, you know, in 20, not even 20 years and two years from now, new people coming in, like the casuals, new people just coming into uh, MMA and combat sports, you know, liking this stuff. They're going to be like, they're going to know Mike Tyson was the greatest. Um, they're going to know his accolades, but they ain't going to really even think of the age. They're going to be like, this guy knocked out Mike Tyson. Right. So, but like he's a scumbag Jake Paul is so like he would he would sacrifice Mike Tyson's legacy and his safety and personal health Mike Tyson's personal health and safety for his own clout because he's bitch made he won't fight anybody real he won't and the only time we saw him come close with Tommy Fury he got beat right like the only time we see him dip his toe in the water of actually fighting somebody legitimate he got beat by decision. He couldn't, he, he ain't about it. I'm telling you, he's not about it. You know, people that are about it. If you're in combat sports, I'll tell you some people that are about it. Look at Dustin Poirier. Dustin Poirier. I personally think I, I, my friends get on my case all the time about this because he's like a good old Southern boy from Louisiana, you know, like a man's man, a fighter's fighter. But Dustin Poirier is kind of a douchebag, but that's kind of why we like him. But one thing you can't deny, whether you like him or you don't like him, is he's about it. He's a dog. He's not bitch made. Jake Paul is bitch made. You know, Dustin, come to think of it, Dustin Poirier is not even a boxer, but that's somebody I'd like to see box Jake Paul. You know, I don't think Jake Paul would take it because he's not really about it. And Dustin's a dog. You'd have to, you have to knock him out or kill him to freaking get him to stop. He's just going to keep coming at you. Um, and more people that are about it is like, honestly, even Conor McGregor is about it. I know that we like to talk about how cushy his life is and stuff, but there's a rich guy that's really about it, but his roots come from being about it. This guy's roots, you know, like he was dancing around with Mickey Mouse and shit. So... This is probably the most aggro MMA flicks and chill you'll ever see. But I grew up with Mike Tyson. The dude's a legend. Show the man some respect. Put his name on top of this freaking ad. Why is Jake Paul the, the top headline of this ad? And why are we sacrificing Mike Tyson's well-being, his health, to get... Net, so Netflix can get more people seeing their platform. And so Jake could get another ancient notch under his belt. Like, it's just, it's not right. It's not right. I mean, would we be surprised if Jake Paul started fighting women? No, seriously, I, I'm not even joking. Would we be surprised? Would you personally tell me in the comments, would you be surprised if you saw Jake Paul booked against some chick? Some some chick that is like zero oh, and eight in boxing. No, we wouldn't be surprised. We wouldn't, because that's what he does. Wasn't his last fight like they were talking about? It was like an Uber driver or a taxi driver, and like I never heard of him. And I love combat sports. I'm paying attention to this stuff. I have a freaking YouTube channel talking about combat sports. And I never heard of the Ryan, whatever Jake, Jake Paul fought. And then I started seeing, uh, I saw another video, someone popping up and being like, dude, this dude literally was my Uber driver. 
and I'm not saying Uber drivers can't be combat sports fighters, but like when we're talking about the top of the tier and the elite and Jake Paul calling himself the baddest man on the planet, you ain't fighting Uber drivers, buddy. You ain't fooling nobody. Jake Paul's a piece of shit. And there's nothing you can do to convince me otherwise. He's a little Disney princess that's just fighting. He's he's riding a race car and racing against, you know, 1978 Ford Pintos with 400 miles on him. He's just bitch made. That's all I got to say. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm going to have to go watch cartoons and read the Bible. This is this has disturbed me too much. If you like the content, subscribe, like this video. Tell me in the comments what you think. Are you about this or do you agree with me that Jake Paul is completely bitch made? If he was Tupperware, that would be the name of his company. That would be the name of his Tupperware, bitch made. Because that's exactly what he is. Chris out. MMA flicks and chill. Out. Chill. Thank you for kicking in with MMA flicks and chill. Chill. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Ring the bell. Ring